Hello and welcome to today's Ninja Trader ecosystem event. Why options trading is driving S and P futures. Learn how to read real time data from the exchanges. My name is Chris and I'm a platform representative at Ninja Trader. Before we start the webinar, I have a few housekeeping notes. Secondly, this webinar is presented by Ninja Trader LLC, which is the technology company responsible for developing and supporting the Ninja Trader trading software. Brokerage related questions should be directed to Ninja Trader brokerage using the phone number or email on the screen. Lastly, if you are new to Ninja Trader, please make sure you sign up for a free Ninja Trader account, which includes access to 14 days of complimentary real time market data. Our platform is always free for advanced charting strategy backtesting and trade simulation you can create your free account by following the following link on the screen and clicking get started under the welcome section before i turn the mic over to chris it is important to understand that futures foreign currency and options trading contain substantial risk and is not suitable for every investor it is possible to lose all or more than the initial investment risk capital is money that can be lost without jeopardizing one's financial security or lifestyle only risk capital should be used for trading, and only those with sufficient risk capital should consider trading. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Also, please remember that these webinars are, these trading sessions are not a solicitation or recommendation, but simply educational in nature. Thanks again for joining us today. Without further ado, it is my pleasure to welcome to the Ninja Trader webinar room, Chris. Okay. I want to welcome everybody for joining us today. Um, my name is Chris Knox, and I developed Zone Trader Pro basically for my own personal trading. And as we've already gone over the risk disclosure, we'll skip through that. Um, initially did that in 2007. And uh, what I created there was looking for repetitive price patterns. Um, then de developed an order flow suite, gave it to all my customers in 2017, 2019. I developed some tools to analyze volume and divergences, which greatly enhanced uh, the product. And then in 2020, I started learning a lot about the VIX and how the, the options was basically driving the... ES trading and in 2020 started developing Bloodhound uh, Shark Indicators Bloodhound templates uh, to basically try to track some of that options trading. So there's really, it's a combination of five different parts of, or five different tools that the Zone Trader Pro platform is using. And if you didn't know, the VIX is the ticker symbol, and it's popular uh, as the volatility index. And it is basically a measure of the market's expectation of volatility um, in the S&P options for the going out the next 30 days. That's the dollar sign VIX. Um, the There's also falling uh, implied volatility. Um, and that is generally caused by an imbalance of options from option sellers over demand for options from the buyers. Um, the daily change in the VIX is an indication of how aggressively the SPX option contracts are being purchased and sold. So why do we want to trade based with information based on these options? Well, options are, there's two types of options. There's our puts, which are bets that the options are going to go down and calls, which are bets that the market's going to go up. And what's really interesting to understand is that options dealers will both buy and sell puts and calls. So they don't want to have a directional bias one way or another. And they do this by hedging. Um, this is what I began to learn in 2020. Uh, from Spot Gamma. I am a personally a paid subscriber. I don't earn any referral fees from them. Um, the information about the options hedging and the VIX that Spot Gamma distributes is basically what led me to create what I've done here. So 
the sports book in Vegas and, and the options zeros have a lot in common. The sports book, they want an equal amount bet on each team. They do this by adjusting the, the line so that an equal number of bets will come in off of each side. They don't want to have a directional exposure and don't care which team wins. And the options dealers are the same way. Um, he's going to both be buying and selling puts and calls. And if he is long, it's if he is what's called long a call, that is a bet that price will go up. A long put is an option bet that price will go down. So as puts and calls are bought and sold throughout the day, the VIX is going to move higher and lower. And that's basically why we're looking to follow that. Um, when these puts and, and calls are being bought and sold to the dealers, if there's more fear that the market's going to drop, the VIX is generally going to move higher. The VIX was lower if calls are bought and puts are sold. And there is less fear that the market is going to drop. And that is basically what this slide is basically illustrating what is going to happen and how a dealer is going to offset that. So if you go and you buy a long call, he's going to offset that by buying ES futures. If you are going to short a put, then he's also going to offset that by buying ES futures. The opposite is true if you're short a call or long a put. And this is how he's able to stay hedged until either the option expires or the or you close that trade. Um, the dealer, he's making a hedge based on his delta. If the trade goes in his favor and expires, he can buy back that hedge. And that's sometimes what you see at the close. Um, and he can be either long or short the, the ES futures. What happens when a trade goes against him? This is when the term gamma comes to apply. If a trade goes against the options dealer, the options dealer is going to have to hedge more and more futures as it gets closer to expiration and to the level that the price level that was in the option. He's going to have to continue hedging those futures until he's fully protected or the customer closes that position. Only when the position is closed can the ES futures hedge be bought or sold back. And this is super important, especially for puts that are monetized by traders at market lows. Super, super important. And here's basically an expiration uh, or an explanation of gamma, which is the rate of the change in an options delta per point move. Um, you know, really, that is the the really detailed explanation of that. But when it's what is important to understand is that the more gamma the options has is when the dealer is going to have to hedge that the most. They're going to have to add to their initial hedges. And what I'm going to show you right here is one of my charts with, uh, with an indicator from Zone Trader Pro. This is from January 11th, 2024. The volatility trigger, which is given to us by Spot Gamma, is this red line here. And it sits at $47.99. And it is a level where increased dealer hedging will occur if price slides below those option strikes. The chart is showing the Zone Trader Pro Delta Strength Indicator, which picks up large lot trades. The volatility trigger is from Spot Gamma. Notice all the large lot buy trades during the period between 1100 and 1200. So that is from here to here, the, the first third of the chart. We see a lot of buying going on down here. Why? This is happening at major support and at zero gamma. Puts were likely being closed at this point. Price trades back to the volatility trigger, trigger 
and was heavily defended there for the rest of the day. You can also see a large number of buys during the 11 a.m. hour. 4784 in the futures is the SPX price of 4750, which is where a large number of options were at. The Zone Trader Pro software is likely picking up large lot trades due to long positions being closed and dealers buying back hedges. It's also interesting to note that futures sold off hard on war news in the pre market. However, again, the zero gamma and volatility trigger were defended. And Zone Trader Pro shows where the Delta Strength with the Delta Strength indicator picking up these large lot trades. Now, this is an older chart, as you can see by the prices here, but it also demonstrates how dealers need to add to their initial hedges. So as price was going lower towards the support, you see an increase in the red large lot trades as price is getting closer to being at the money and the gamma is increasing. And this is causing instability in wider ranges. However, when key price levels are hit, these puts are sold, resulting in a profit for the trader and the dealer buying back those ES hedges. This is what happened at 44.15. In a call heavy market, which is likely to occur when gamma is positive, the markets are likely to mean revert. In other words, volatility will decrease because dealers are selling the rips and buying the dips. This all changes when we drop below zero gamma, which was at 44.60 on the ES and the volatility trigger at 44.15. We see that acceleration of hedging in this 60 point market move after dropping below and staying below the volatility trigger. This is a slide from a website uh, or a, a Twitter account called Tier 1 Alpha, and it shows how volatility increases as price drops below zero gamma, and it decreases as dealers become long the gamma. And, uh, and the last part of this puzzle is when we experience lows in liquidity in the ES futures, which generally drops when the market is in negative gamma. That's when this slide was taken from, and it rises when it's in positive gamma. This is important because when a dealer needs to hedge, increase his hedge or cover a hedge, he'll move the market price. He needs to execute his trades whether liquidity is low or high, and if there is less liquidity, which you find when we're in the negative gamma section, the dealer trades move markets more. The top of the book depth had deteriorated by more than half in the two weeks of August 2023. This is why we must be trading in the direction that the options dealers are trading. Now, this is this layout represents my basic chart setup that I use to use my Zone Trader Pro tools and monitor options in real time. The shark indicator's bloodhound indicator is on all the charts. The templates for the bloodhound are part of the Zone Trader Pro indicator suite. I give you the templates, so you're not going to be creating those on your own. The chart on the left is the SPY, which is acting as a proxy and is showing two divergence trades. There's a bloodhound VIX trend template painting the chart green. And this is important. The chart on the left is the SPY. The chart on the far right is the ES. And they are each showing trends. The chart in the middle is actually showing what the agreement is of the symbols that I monitor in Bloodhound. I'm just letting Bloodhound do the work for me and, and tell me what each one of these are doing. On the bottom of the bar, on the bottom is a bar by bar ZTP indicator showing the VIX 9D symbol also. Um, and that's on the uh, SPY chart. Um, on the ES chart, you can see the same bar by bar uh, picking up a symbol called Core 90D. 
And what you see, you see when the trend is dropping on the VIX 9D, this is bullish. The next chart is real-time VIX symbols. The Bloodhound template is picking up where we have retracements in real time. Now, here's what becomes interesting. The third symbol in the, the chart is the core 90D, which I just mentioned. This is a very little written about, there's very little written about this symbol. And it was described in an options webinar that I watched as a measure of puts being bought or sold. So if it's going lower, lower is bullish. Notice how at 1301, there's a stop run label. A large number of puts were sold and then bought back. On the ES chart on the right, you can see the core 90D move bar by bar and how the options dealers first had to buy futures as a hedge and then almost immediately sell them. I'm not trying to offer any explanation here what the why that trader uh, was doing that, what he's trying to accomplish, but this is common throughout the day. Now, here are, another, here are a couple more examples of how core 90d works and going into 10 o'clock we can see that puts were being sold and that the dealers are having to buy futures the trade that trade is immediately reversed in dealer sell futures and price falls then at 1004 they're bought back again and the market rallies about 15 points during the rally, we can see increased put buying. Now, at 1021, we see the stop run happen again. Puts are sold, forcing dealers to buy and creating a market high. Then an equal number of puts are, are sold, and we see a 15-point, I'm sorry, an equal number of puts are bought, and we see that 15-point sell-off. This picture illustrates how options dealers are having to respond in real time when options are being bought and sold and a very unique way to identify these reversal trades. Here's a better look at the setup as it marks a 30 point sell off. On the live VIX charts, we see all of the VIX symbols go red after two stop runs. Zone Trader Pro was picking up distribution divergence into the first signal, and that's the chart on the right that you're seeing right here. And this is the start of that 30-point sell-off, immediately following those stop runs. Puts are bought, the market falls 30 points, and on the next slide, what you're going to see is the SPY, and see that all four pullbacks during this sell-off had divergence signals. And you might ask uh, why I'm using the SPY. The SPY is used as a uh, proxy for the ES, and it's also used to develop our divergence signals. So this is a SPY chart with a Bloodhound trend template on it leading into that sell-off. If you're wondering what happened before the sell-off, puts were sold to drive price higher for several minutes. This gives ES futures sellers and put buyers better prices and a larger profit. This isn't a trading setup, however, only a demonstration of the manipulation that occurs when options dealers must, must hedge the trades. The possible trading setups that occur when the VIX and divergences are in the same direction. That's what the Zone Trader Pro tools are for. And uh, Marianne, yes, there's going to be a replay of everything that is here. So don't worry about that. Um, then getting back to what I was saying, there are multiple good setups on this chart and the ES chart that we just saw. The first question that I'm always asked is where these divergence signals paint. This is super important. The divergence indicator allows you to set the zigzag time and bar size. Uh, allows you to set the zigzag. Time and bar size are unimportant to Zone Trader Pro. This spy chart is set to 35 ticks on the SPY. This is set like that so we can get a close look at the bar. We need a bar to close. 
when we have a bar closed, we can update all the indicators. So when you see the black lines on this chart, this is where we had a zigzag and where Zone Trader Pro went from measuring support to measuring resistance or vice versa. Where I have placed the black lines, this is where we have the new zigzag. Where we have a new zigzag, this is where the divergence indicator will begin to look for divergences if there are any. This is important. On the chart, I have marked red and green circles where the divergence indicator first started to print, and we had a bloodhound trend signal in the same direction. Price can continue against the direction of our entry, but there is still a divergence. The indicator will update and the line will redraw. So that is not what I what I want to get across here is the divergence indicator is not perfectly picking a high or a low. What it's doing where you see the black line and the divergence indicator immediately uh, selling off or 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 buying. Well, that's what happened in that instance. However, there were several instances on this chart where we did get a signal price traded through and the divergence indicator is just telling you that that divergence is still in place. You'll see some numbers on the chart. Those numbers are the volume analysis and that is an entire webinar just by itself. But that's what I am looking at in addition to I'm not just looking for just a plain signal. I'm looking at what my volume analysis are, is telling me. Um, and where you see a light blue divergence signal, those are signals that are that had busted and are no longer valid. So if the signal busts, Zone Trader Pro is not going to make that signal disappear if the signal uh, uh, is no longer good or valid. This is what the spy chart looks like. It has a different bloodhound template to make to made to look at trends. The spy is used as a proxy, as I stated before, because we generate more divergence signals here on the spy than we do on the ES. The divergence signals are red, are the red and the green lines. And again, as I as I stated, the blue line is a busted signal. It remains on the bar where it busted at, so it's not going to move. There are three types of divergences, and this is, again, what makes this indicator so interesting. There is a an accumulation and distribution divergence, a special, what I call a special divergence, and regular, dis, and regular divergence. Personally, I ignore regular divergences and focus on the first two. And that would be accumulation, distribution, and special. In less than two hours on this chart, there were 10 signals, nine of which I define as tradable. And as you can see on this chart, I marked where there was no VIX agreement on a winning trade because of what the previous VIX chart had been telling, uh, had been telling me. The only possible loss was in the middle of the chart at 1050, and we're going to look at why that 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 we didn't take that trade on the ES now. This is my VIX chart. And what Bloodhound is doing is telling me the state of the several different VIX indicators that I'm monitoring. The top represents options expiring in the next nine days, the VIX 9D. Then we have the VIX, which is the next 30 days. Then we have core 90D which is the correlation index tied to 90 delta puts. And then we have the volatility of the VIX in the fourth panel. Again, I learned about the core 90 D in a, a podcast from tier one alpha. And I can give the definition, uh, but only options traders are basically going to be able to understand it. So we're just going to leave it right the way it was explained to on the podcast is that it was tied to puts. Over the time I've watched it on my charts and it is strongly inversely correlated to the ES. And at times I've seen it leading the ES. 
And again, that, that would only make sense because if a play, if somebody is, is trading a large number of options and they have an expectation of something coming up in the market, that to again, makes sense to me. Um, the bloodhound formula in this chart is only looking at these four symbols. What are they, what am I looking for? First, I'm looking at how much the pullback from the highs or the low was and how it reacts with the moving average rib ribbon visually. The VIX, VIX 9D and the core 90D went through all those ribbons at 1043. And this will become important on the next chart. The red arrows indicate short trades from the SPY and the ES charts and correlate to the entry point of the trade, which will be shown in the next chart. All four of these symbols are inversely correlated to the ES so that if their values are rising, then the ES is dropping. And that's what this looks like on uh, when we were able to see everything together. Um, so I want to first focus on the two trades not taken. My ES chart has a different Bloodhound template than on the SPY. So I have a couple of different options. Um, I, I want to watch both because both I feel are excellent. In the first trade, there was no VIX agreement where you can see that. And I placed that on the chart. Simply put, we can find a better setup. Same exact thing happens at 1043 when two of the four VIX symbols go green and the trend chart is against us. At this point, it's unlikely that we have even entered a trade, but if we have, we have the option to exit based on our information that's staring at us right in the face um, and exit that basically about where we entered. Even up to seven minutes later when all the VIX symbols go green. And that's super important you're being you're looking at this chart and one by one these vic symbols are telling you bullish 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 the market hasn't moved yet it's not going to actually move for seven minutes and you have the information in front of you that you need to get out of the the, the trade the point is by watching bloodhound you can then laser focus on the actual values on the vix chart what are those pullbacks this is the remainder of that full chart. The middle of the circles indicate where you had entries, where you had signals for the entry and the VIX agreed. This is not always the, and remember, I just want to you know, be very clear. The, ape, the apex is not, the, the signal is not the apex of all the moves. It is the apex of some but not all. There are several different indicator pieces to the Zone Trader Pro suite. There is also pattern matching, order flow, and volume analysis. Probably the most important of these three is the volume analysis. It is not order flow. So you're probably thinking, oh my God, everybody talks order flow. And I'm saying that it's more important to analyze volume. Why? Order flow is not important because order flow is lagging. Order flow is lagging because a bar must complete before a pattern can be determined. Divergences, volume, and VIX analysis are all occurring in real time. They are not lagging. So you don't want to give up valuable ticks waiting for confirmation. In these pictures of the SPY and the ES, we see no support in the volume analysis and only limit order resistance each time there was a retracement. You see this resistance bar by bar increasing, which is what I've marked in red. And again, I can do an entire webinar um, on just what, what we analyze in this volume analysis. Very interesting, very important. Um, it's, it's, but it's not what we're talking about right here. And of course, if, Anybody should want to contact me. I'm right now I'm going to dump my contact in the chat and we can go over all of this or anything else that you've seen uh, on live charts or 
or uh, uh, if you have any questions. So what I also do, which I'm not uh, probably a lot of uh, vendors do, is I offer personal one-on-one -on -one training at no charge after your purchase. Additionally, I don't charge any update or upgrade fees or yearly maintenance fees. So in other words, once you purchase a lifetime license, you've purchased the license and there's no fees. I'm, I'm not trying to make money uh, as uh, other vendors can do um, in, in any maintenance programs or if I have an upgrade or, or update. When I created my divergences, my volume analysis, I gave that to all of my existing customers free of charge. So we're going to conclude here and we can uh, get to any questions that you might have, but, you know, let's look at what we're, you know, some conclusions. Flat out options dealers, they need to hedge trades when, when options are traded in the ES and NQ futures. The VIX is that market fear gauge, which normally falls in bullish moves as it's doing today and rising in a bearish move. Only Zone Trader Pro is going to teach you how to avoid high-risk trading situations by trading with the trend, by trading with the VIX. Divergences are developed on the SPY chart, and they make excellent trading opportunities when combined with the information that we're going to get on the VIX. I'm going to show you real-time information from volume analysis and from divergences. And this is going to lead us to effectively trade using this real-time information that other programs or indicators don't offer. Um, we, and of course, Ontario Pro has the, uh, the divergence indicators. Um, I mentioned special divergence, and I should have explained that really quick. Let me go back and show you uh, real quickly what special divergence is. In this uh, slide right here at 1505 on the SPY, as price fell, the there was a bullish divergence, and there was approximately... 52,000 shares as a positive delta. So from the high to the low in a sell-off that was six and a half points, there was approximately 52,000 positive delta. And that is what a, uh, a special divergence is. We also see special divergences on these other two trades. This one, uh, not so much as the first and in case somebody would be wondering, you know, would I take those as trades? And and personally, I would not because I would be trading against my trend. However, when you see this, you can evaluate that. And if you had been in a short trade from either of these first two, you can evaluate just how uh, long those spy longs are and take your profits. So that's basically how I use divergences when the divergence is against the trend. So let me take this back to our finishing slide. Um, I am uh, offering a $200 discount um, when we can do this through a digital delivery not using PayPal. So in other words, I want you to keep some of your money and instead of paying PayPal, um, I will give you back uh, more money than we than I have to pay for PayPal. Um, can I answer any questions? Thank you very much, Valerio. Appreciate that. I don't see any questions. Let me, uh, I can bring up a real-time chart here of our SPY. Um, you can pretty much see that the SPY uh, uh, was positive or the trends were positive into the afternoon. 
Um, see a nice 10 point move here. Again, you know, we have divergences that occurred right here. And well, this is kind of why we use our bloodhound trends to not be taking those kind of trades. Um, a little earlier today, uh, we can see where we had short trades that worked out very well. Um, again, here is that example of you get four points in a trade. You are given, and, and in this case, you got four, uh, two trades where you got four points. You're given real time signals uh, about um, uh, where you should exit. And uh, the, the divergent signals worked um, in both of those instances. And uh, Gutteria asked a question. Um, we're not we're not trying to use this software to actually trade options. We're just using its information. And again, down you can see down here um, where I want to use my my volume information, um, my volume analysis information. Uh, you can see right here. This is where resistance was and market continued to drop about another five points. I want to use all these uh, abilities that I have not to trade options, but to trade the ES futures. So, you know, that's kind of the answer to, to that question. Um, you know, th this is what this is set up for is to give us entries uh, into um, uh futures and where we don't really have to know the details of what options are doing and what options are uh telling us kind of kind of the important point there i see i bring up the es chart really quickly as i said this es chart has a different um uh bloodhound trend to it although for the most part it agrees with the other chart most of the uh uh for most of the afternoon um again we can see these on the on the bottom panel on panel two you can see where i have the where i am looking at the core 90d and uh again in real time here we basically have the selling of puts, which is going to result in uh, this the market uh, the the buys from that taking it up into here, and then the sell off. Um, you can see we're also developing good divergences with green vix here, here, here. Again, um, pretty nice uh, trade going into right here. You can see how the, the puts were being built up into that and then gradually being sold off into uh, 5,005. And then that marked the low for the rest of the day. And we can basically see how Core 90D is just falling for the rest of the day. Again, pretty interesting. Although, if not somewhat boring, because there was, uh, uh, we're we're in very positive gamma right here, and exactly what you expect to see by the uh, by the dips, sell the rips, is is what we have going on here, and we didn't have that great a range. It looked like about a fifteen point range today. Um, Zach asks, uh, how long does it take an average customer to master this um generally i say about two weeks and everything is done at your pace um as what i do is after you purchase the software i'll come to your screens and set up this all for you so that you don't have to do any setup i'll drop templates in the appropriate folders and then we'll immediately start the first session 
And there's basically going to be five sessions where I'm going to go into detail about each individual part of Zone Trader Pro. The hardest part is the first section where I actually want you to learn what these patterns are telling us. So if you can learn what these price patterns are telling us, it's a if A, then B kind of situation. And so we see that uh, basically here on the open where we just have our typical everyday trend trade right here, which was good for a little over six points, six and a quarter points. Um, this is on the open. So we wouldn't be taking, you know, I, I would generally not want to get involved in something like this because all of the VIX indicators have just started to work. So we don't have a reliable VIX symbol. The VIX itself is not working from 915 to 930. So any, any thing going on right here at the open is, is generally not uh, uh, tradable. Uh, but still creates a pattern. Um, and these patterns, they keep recurring. We see here, we have our reversal trade to the tick, our trend trade to the tick. And, and this is what I want you to understand and learn first, because this also tells us something about risk and how much risk that you want to be putting out there. So, uh, the the general question is how fast can you go is how fast i can train you and i'll basically give an hour explanation um probably the the most important being on the volume analysis and then ask you to come and do this where you actually go and look at what the volume analysis is telling you. So for example, that right there is resistance. And wow, that's kind of interesting how that made a high right there and we got an eight and a half point sell off. Um, so the, I want you to understand each part of the, the software. And when you understand that, then it's time to move on to the next thing. And the last part of this is understanding Bloodhound and what Bloodhound is telling us and, and giving us. So I'm gonna give you the templates so you don't have to go and recreate your own stuff, but it's important to understand the difference between this chart, which is a trend chart, and this chart, which is our real-time VIX values. And this is basically tick by tick. So we can see how starting at roughly after 1300, we had a very large move um, in first our VIX 9D. It broke through the moving average rhythms. Same thing on the VIX, the same thing on the core 90D. Just, you know, really important. The, the volatility of the VIX had already been falling. And it just continued for the rest of the afternoon. Um, again, you know, just uh, some really interesting uh, things. And and like I said, here I'm letting Bloodhound uh, just tell me where I have agreements, and I'm using my zones and these moving average rhythms, ribbons, to tell me where we have these breakouts, like we see right here. If we would have been long in a trade right here, we can use that as a justification to get out of that. Um, and you can see here, we have all of our symbols now going red, starting at about 11.07. So real-time information, real important. Um, trend information, using this even more important putting it all together with Zone Trader Pro and uh, uh, the Bloodhound indicator just uh, uh, really puts a, a, an entire toolbox at your disposal. Chris, I don't see any other questions. Um, 
If anybody has a question, drop it in there now and I will answer it. Other than that, Chris, I don't see anything. Once again, there's my contact information and I am available.